Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and I hope you guys are doing wonderful. As many of you know, I built a computer this last year. And when I built the computer, I did not put a DVD burner on it. So I chose to purchase a external USB powered DVD burners. This is one that I found on Amazon. It had really high reviews. So I picked it up, I paid $22 for it. So we're gonna take a look and in this video, I'll tell you what it looks like and I'll give it a test and see how it runs. And I'll definitely give you guys feedback and let you know if it was a good purchase or not. So, so far, you see a little instruction manual. So very easy to read. There's some instructions. It looks like a nice little device and comes packaged very well. Here's the back of the unit. Got a little USB cable there. And if I remember correctly, this is actually USB 3.0. How does that come out? The thing's tight in there. There we go. So USB 3. It's got a nice little cable about probably eight inches long. And there's a look at the top of the unit. There's the little button. And right here, you can take a look there. So this looks like an interesting DVD burner. Again, I paid $22 for it. So we're going to take a look and see how it performs. So I'm going to go over to the computer, and plug it in, and we'll, we'll test this thing. Now, even though I showed the manual a second ago, this page right here has a lot of good information as far as capability and things like that. And I use Linux on my computer. So we'll see how it does with Linux. There's the second page right there. I'm just giving you a closer look at this owner's manual. So if you need to pause your screen to read any of this, feel free to do so. And then of course, here is the final page different language so it's really just those two pages so yes uh, this looks like a nice unit okay here we are sitting in front of a Windows 10 machine most of my computers are laptops and they run Linux so I just plug the unit in and it looks like Windows 10 is recognizing it so let's push the button there to eject the DVD tray I've got a movie here. So let's go ahead and put the movie in and see what happens here. So we'll put that in, we'll close that tray. And let's see, we should get the autoplay thing here in a second. You can see the activity light working. And so far, it's looking good. Select to choose what happens. Let's go on up here to play DVD and let's uh, go ahead and do this full screen now just to let you know this is a USB 2 port here this isn't USB 3 so it looks like the movies playing got plenty of sound there go to the scenes let's try this one here yep looks like it's working so very cool so I'm, I'm happy it looks like it's working just fine and again it's a DVD burner so it'll burn DVDs it'll play DVDs so very cool 
So hopefully you're enjoying this video and hopefully this will help you out just in case you might be somebody out there that's looking for a external DVD player or burner. For the price, I mean, I don't think you can beat it. It had really solid reviews. Okay, now we are looking at a laptop computer that is running Ubuntu Linux. So we'll put that bad boy right there. We'll plug it into the side here. That's a USB 3 port. And you can see that so far Linux is seeing the device. Let's go ahead and push this tray open and we'll do the same kind of test on Ubuntu Linux that we did on the Windows machine. So I'm going to put that same movie in here. Let's get it stuck in there like that. Close that. There we go. And let's see what happens here. Again, this is Ubuntu Linux. Very good operating system. So I'm just really happy because some of the computers and things that I have, there it is, it showed up at the top. Some of the computers that I work on, they have Linux. And I just want to see if Linux will work. Uh, LibDVDSS. So it won't, it won't work on that player, but let me go try a different player. We'll try VLC. VLC usually plays a lot of different medias. Open disk, DVD, play. Let's see what happens here. So there we go. Click on scenes. And let's go to scene number three. And there we have it. So it looks like this movie is working just fine. Pretty crazy. It does a good job. So with all that being said, folks, hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave comments down below. Please make sure that you're checking the description box down below because I'll put a link down there where you can find this DVD player. Let's see, I'm trying to get that button. There it is. And until next time, folks, thank you for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.